welcome to Sandown Park then. By the way, the Sandown meeting with Red Gold Cup Day is a hat, is a hunt, is chase. And just five winners, Hedgeway Planet, Alex Cherry, Link Sydney, Matt Cooper, Miss Midwinter, Patrick Hogan, Cole Port Motor, Stu Gray, and Sham Blue for John Morgan, just a five winners. Patrick Hogan, one behind leading trainer Martin Leading, who's not in the race today, as well in this race. And uh, the first one to show is Sham Blue. John Morgan's had one winner on the Hunter Chase season. Cole Porter, Stu Gray's runner. Cole Mortar, I should say, I think Cole Porter. <laughs> He's had two. And then Patrick Hogan's had one as well as. Oh, we see the little picture there, so. It's uh, Sean Bloom, John Morgan, Jimmy, ooh, and he's gone at the ditch. You don't see the horse falling that often at that fence. And it's Hedgeball Planet and Link Cindy, Alex Cherry's runner. Alex, who's had six winners in third place in the championship. Link Sydney leads. Matt Cooper trying to grab Martin Leiden. Martin's had a good season with 10. And we've got 500 chases for you today, starting with this one at Sandown Park. And then I'll be going by helicopter over to Fort Lodge for the evening card, point to point card. We have four races to bring to you. Edgeway Planet leads from Cold Mortar in second. Mm. Then Link Sydney on the inside of Miss Midwinter. There's one already this season. Yeah. <coughs> I think that was on Hunter's Chase early on. I don't know really, but uh, she's down there on 100 of 18, along with Edgeway Planet. 99 for Cole Mortar. 96 Sham Blue, the bottom weight. Link Sydney's on 100. And with Sham Blue, the front running, John Morgan run out of the race. Seth's left he's four. Edgeware Planet just leads from Link Sydney and then Con Mortar. And Link Sydney's gone. So we're down to three and that means Martin's one point one point lead in the Dantas Chase is going to be secure for now. But oh, can Alex Cherry gain one back now? He's on six, he's four behind. But he's been pressed by the Cold Mortar. Um, Cole Mortar goes on for Stu Gray, who jumped that one slowly again. A lot of Edgeway Planet to come through on the inside. They cut them clear of Miss, Win Miss Win Winter. Oh, I think it's come off the pace before in the races, so there's plenty of time for Patrick Ogan's jockey to get the horse, they all stoked up. Edgeway Planet and uh, Cole Mortar heading towards the, the pond fence. They're about two lengths clear of Miss Winter. They cut towards the pond. Uh, as they do so, they all jumped it well with Cole Mortar just about our neck in front now. Edgeway Plant's coming along I'm on the riding on the inside. And Miss Winter is closing up in third. So the three will start to bunch up now with just two left to jump. As uh, they jump this one, and on the jump, in Miss Winter came out on top and went on by a length from Cole Mortar in second. Edgeway Planet, the last jump, and on the running for the line now. And now Miss Winter is quickening up a length and half clear. Up two of them to go, and Miss Winter now two lengths clear of Cole Mortar in second. Back in third, Edgeway Planet, but this is going to go all the island of Patrick Organ. Wins by two, and quite easy in the end for Cole Mortar in second. And back in third was Edgeware Planet. And I will see you at Fort Lodge. And that means Patrick Hogan has moved on to two in the Anders Championship. <laughs>